Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. I feel like you're gonna fall. <laughs> I feel like I don't even know where to start with this video because life has been a lot. These last few weeks, let me tell you guys, have just been wild. Although actually nothing's happened and it's just been the craziest time. So if you follow me on Instagram, I feel like you probably already know half of the story. Um, because I did kind of post a few stories over the last few weeks, although barely posted what I usually do. Um, by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on there and come back to this video. Also, before you watch this video, I feel like you should watch my last vlog because then everything will make a little bit more sense and kind of flow into each other. But, guys, it has been, I think, three and a bit weeks since I last spoke to you all. And as I say, it's been a crazy time. I actually haven't done anything though, other than pretty much lie in bed. So at the beginning of my last vlog, I said to you, or oh, I had a bit of a cold, I wasn't feeling myself, but it wasn't COVID. True, it wasn't, but about six days after that, I got really sick. So it'd be basically three weeks this coming Monday that I started getting symptoms and basically cut a long story short, I ended up getting COVID. I don't actually know how I avoided it for so long because I kind of thought in my head I'd had it at some point, but just didn't really know, like, you know, been asymptomatic or whatever. Um, but I've been doing the most. I've been going on holidays. I've been clubbing. I've been living my life. I've been going to restaurants. Obviously, I was being safe at the same time, but somewhere along the lines, I don't know where, I don't know how, but I ended up getting COVID. Um, and honestly, I really thought I was going to be one of those people it didn't really affect, as I say, but I swear to God, I did not get out of bed for the best part of like a week. Um, I don't want to scare anyone, by the way, because everyone reacts so differently to it. And as long as you're fit and you're young and you're healthy, you'll be absolutely fine. And if not, you should be vaccinated and all the rest of it, I guess. But you'll be fine. It's just like having really bad flu. That is pretty much all it is. I say that's all it is, like it's a lot, but like it's fine. I live and I tell the tale. Um, and then basically I was just like in my apartment for two weeks alone and it was pretty shit, I can't lie. Um, I had every single symptom going, like no joke. I've had the lot. I still have a cold, I still have a cough. I'm no longer COVID positive though. So if any of you wondering why I'm going out today, that is why, as I say, it's been nearly three weeks now. And so although I still have some of the symptoms and whatever, I no longer can spread it, um, which was obviously my biggest worry because I don't want to go around spreading it to people. But yeah, basically <laughs> that's what I've been doing. I've been laying in my bed and just in my apartment. So today is only the second time I'm about to leave my flat. The first time I literally just walked to the shops to get some essentials, which was like two or three days ago. Um, and today I'm actually gonna get on with my life and go and <laughs> go do a bit of shopping and actually go back to Louis Vuitton, which is why I said go watch the old vlog because this is a continuation of that. Um, so yeah, I still feel odd. Like I still have a little bit blurry eyes and things, but overall I'm getting there and yeah, <laughs> basically I'm just happy to be alive. But I just want to quickly say, I don't want to scare anyone by what I've just said, because as I say, it's like having flu and as long as you're taking your vitamins and you're looking after yourself, I'm sure pretty much all of you will be absolutely fine. It's just not very nice to have. Anyway, I've been up this morning and I washed my hair, which I actually took a little clip of some of the products I've been using. Good morning, guys. It's shower time. This mirror needs a little bit of a clean. So does my hair. So let's get cracking. By the way, whilst we're here, let me just show you a few of the products I'm using at the moment. Olaplex always, oh my God, my camera's getting wet. Sorry, you guys are literally soaked at this point. We've got Olaplex. Um, yeah, absolutely love that. So good for your hair. I also use the bonding serum. I'll show you that in a minute. And then we've got a Philip King Z mask, which I also love this brand so much for your hair. It's great. So let me have a shower. I can't explain to you how nice it is just to wash my hair. Like, I swear, in two and a half weeks, I think I've washed my hair like three times, which is so gross. Usually I wash my hair like every day. So yeah, I've had no energy. Anyway, a little bit of serum in my hair, which is the Kerastase. This is the absolute the, from like the blonder range. I just run this through the ends of my hair. Then we're going to do the Olaplex bonding oil. This is so good. So it's the same range as my shampoo and conditioner that I should have just shown you. Um, this is also from Look Fantastic. I pretty much get all my beauty stuff from there. And then of course to finish off a little bit of heat protection spray and this is the GHD one and it's called Bodyguard and I just spray this all over 
my hair. I think I've decided today it's going to be a Dyson curl day. Um, just because it's actually quicker than curling my hair properly. So, let's get cracking with that. Honey, honey, I got what you want. Give me all of your love, it's burning hot. It's what you do to me, babe, I can guarantee. Honey, honey, I got what you need. Back under the night sky, I want. I don't know if anyone else is guilty of this, but I spend my life watching YouTube like crime documentaries. It's an addiction. And then the thing is, is when one ends, they recommend you watch another one. So I just spend my whole life watching it. <laughs> anyway, I've just finished my hair. I've actually realized I didn't really wash the shampoo out of my hair that well though. My shower is so shit here. Like it drives me insane where it's not that powerful. And so sometimes like, unless I'm really thorough, I end up leaving product in my hair, which is just so irritating. By the way, guys, just a quick one before we get on with the rest of the vlog. Elizabeth Arden, eight hour cream. Do you know what? I used to use this years ago and then I stopped just because you know, like you use other products. And I recently bought it again and I just need to tell you guys how amazing it is. It's the best ever. You can use it on your lips on your face, like in so many different body parts. <laughs> but I love it and I couldn't recommend it more. Um, and it's actually like a really nice kind of like lip balm for every day. I also fake tanned a little bit last night, guys, because I swear I am the palest person you've ever met in your life at this point because I haven't seen the outside sun and like the outside, I don't know, the COVID thing made me very pale, put it that way. Um, so yeah, I put on a bit of fake tan and I'm feeling more and more myself by the second. Anyway, today's video, we're heading to Westfields. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping. I'm hoping to pick up some new bits and pieces, like some new clothes. I'm gonna go back to Louis Vuitton and we're gonna solve the whole fiasco with my Palm Springs mini backpack. And we're just gonna have a good day out together and I'm looking forward to it, although I'm also slightly quite nervous about it as well because it feels like a big deal all of a sudden going outside. <laughs> These flowers need to be shown, guys. One of my best friends, Alicia, bless her, she's an absolute nutter, but she sent me these flowers um, a little bit earlier this week. I actually sound so bad. I haven't even taken them out of the packaging yet because they just look so pretty like this. And she sent me this card that says, love you so much, bitch, <laughs> Leash, because obviously I've been poorly and I missed a big night out this weekend and I guess she just felt sorry for me. So love you, Alicia. You'll probably never watch this, but you're cute, babe. I actually also got sent these roses as well from two of my other best friends, Sammy and Jessie. They're on the way out now, but they are about, I want to say like over a week old. Um, they also sent them me when I was poorly, but they look really pretty in my bedroom next to my new mirror, which I need to put up here. Um, but this mirror is from, ugh, I always say this um, place so wrong, but it's from a, rig, a Riggy Bianchi. I'm, I can't even, I can't say the name of it. Um, I'll link it down below because it's a really lovely furniture shop. But yeah, I'm hoping to put the mirror up on this wall, but I think it's really nice and kind of goes with the vibe of my bedroom. Actually, I'm running low on so many perfumes. I usually have like a really good selection, but well, I still do. I still have um, Penthaligans. We've got this Narciso Rodriguez one, a Louis Vuitton one. This is my favorite though, Cairo Penthaligans, but look, there's barely anything left in it. Um, I'm gonna go with, oh my goodness, I'm gonna go with Halfetti today. Do you know something that's crazy though? To be honest, I could wear, dog shit at the moment because i can't smell a single thing like oh my god i can smell it a tiny bit but my my sense of smell and my sense of taste my taste not so much it's just a little bit more muted but my sense of smell i could literally be smelling like this perfume is so strong i could be smelling it up my nose and i smell nothing like that's obviously one of the side effects of covid but it's the oddest thing ever. Like, as I say, my whole flat could smell like dog shit and I wouldn't even know. It's so weird. Something else I do now a lot more religiously since COVID is take my vitamins every day. So got my Barocca in there and then also have vitamin C and vitamin D and complex B. By the way, guys, I have real no clue about vitamins. I just looked up and these ones are supposedly the best ones to take. Um, but if any of you guys recommend any particular ones, let me know because I'm on this like health um, kick just because, oh, for God's sake, I just realized I need to look after myself a little bit better than maybe I was doing before. The size of these vitamins, I like horse tranquilizers, honestly. They're so huge. 
also does Barocca ever taste any better like the more you drink it does it get any better because it's disgusting oh my god it's so gross I'm just in my um, car park and I actually cannot remember where the hell I last parked obviously I've not driven in like three weeks so I don't know where the hell I put my car no I'm actually being dead serious I can't actually find it <laughs> where the hell did I park there's always so many sick cars in um, my car park like Rolls Royces G-Wagons one day guys see there's a G-Wagon there I would show you but I shouldn't really be showing people's number plates and stuff you know oh uh, here she is actually right next to a G-Wagon which is oh my god no my McDonald's which I had the last day I drove my car which is actually the night before um I got ill oh my god it's still in here I'm such a skank for god's sake my car is also as always you can't see but it's full of clothes standard me i feel like i actually have no petrol let's start this baby up and um have a look now i've got 40 miles great i just realized i forgot to bring my camera battery so i barely got any battery on my camera which is absolutely freaking fantastic not um i do have my phone though so i'll still be able to film when we're out and stuff it's another cloudy and dull day in london today swear to god the sun hasn't been out like the whole time i've been in my apartment or well, barely anyways okay it says it's gonna be a 25 minute drive which is fine it's usually about that amount of time um yeah well i'll see you when i get there i guess guys because i don't want to waste my battery right this time i've taken a picture of where i've parked could you remember last time i couldn't bloody remember could i i actually parked pretty much in the same place so if i forget it this time then i have real bad memory problems I actually feel really bad as well. I'm a whole hour late. I booked an appointment to come pick up my bag. And I don't know why in my head, I thought the appointment was at one and I just checked and it's at 12. Westfield is actually kind of quiet today, um, but I think it's because all the kids are back to school. Last time I came here was in the middle of school holidays. Today is a lot calmer. I actually kind of like it. So this is like the designer part of um, Westfield which is very nice indeed to have like the two options. You've obviously got High Street as well as all of the designer stores. Well, not all of them, but lots of them. There's Louis Vuitton over there. See this Tiffany store. When it was, I think it was my 18th birthday. It was either my, yeah, must have been my 18th birthday. My mum and I came here um, and we got a Tiffany's ring for my birthday, which is a cute little memory. Okay, I was too late, which is fair enough because I'm literally an hour late. Um, they said I've got to come back at two. Um, which is fine because there's a Prada across the like the way from Louis Vuitton, so we'll go in there. The new season Prada puffers are so cool. I also managed to get my hands on the oversized belted blazer coat from Prada. This one's way too big for me. I need like three sizes smaller, but it's amazing. Do you like it, guys? I mean, I think it's unreal. I was about to go into Zara and then I saw there's a prep and I've not eaten a thing yet today so I decided let's go and get some food because I'm starting to feel a little bit like when I don't eat I get really anxious which is just so odd um, and I'm starting to feel that anxious feeling so let's go get something to eat. I used to eat this mezzo salad so much we got all fruit, baguettes, I feel like I want a sandwich. They used to do that chicken and avocado but they don't have it anymore which is annoying because it was so nice okay i got such a boring thing considering all i've been eating is egg and bread for like the last week i got an egg sandwich i just panicked and just got anything that was there i had something really funny to say my friend harriet i don't know if any of you guys have watched um it's, it's on netflix and it's called clickbait i've watched it like the last two nights and completely finished the series I would recommend watching it but the ending is just so ridiculous. I was saying about it on my stories and oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to balance you there. Anyway, my friend Harriet just messaged me and she said she thinks that the guy Matt did it. Um, and I know I shouldn't really do like a spoiler on here if any of you guys watch it. 
you'll be laughing the fact that she she said she wanted to text me and have it in writing because she's sure it's him she's gonna be so shocked when she realizes who did it <laughs> the sandwich literally tastes like nothing i don't know whether it's because of my covid taste buds or the sandwich literally tastes like nothing i'm unsure but i'm um, quite disappointed with my choice I um, left pretty much all of the bread and just ate the egg from the inside and couldn't taste a single thing. Just tasted like nothing. So weird. I really, really feel like I cannot be asked to walk around and shop, which is really unlike me. But I just feel so tired all the time. And yeah, like shopping is exhausting at the best of times. <laughs> that sounds like such a like stupid thing to say, but does no one else think that shopping is so exhausting like it's just a lot but i am going to quickly go urban outfitters because i feel like there's barely any urban outfitters and online for them i hate shopping online for them so um the lady had the nicest gray chanel bag so nice anyway let's have a little look what's in here i just need to show you how wacky everything is in here it's very much like festival vibes um which i don't think i'm going to any festivals this year <laughs> So it's definitely not any good for me, but look at all these juicy couture bits as well. Oh my god, this top. I used to be the biggest juicy couture fan, guys, back in the day. Just my favourite thing ever. I would have been going crazy over this stuff. I mean, do you know what I love at the moment? I love these varsity jackets. They kind of look like vintage. This one's really cool. It's navy though, and I feel like I don't really wear much navy. This is a brown one, but I kind of need, well, I kind of want a size large and they don't have it. They only have medium and I feel like the medium's not going to be big enough and it was just not going to look that cool. But um, yeah, if anyone's looking for varsity jackets, they have them in Urban Outfitters, guys. They have this green one, which is really cool, but I just picked one up, which is so similar from H&M and the price of this is it's 155 quid and the one from H&M I think it was like 40 so even though I really like this I just can't justify the price to be honest we are back again guys look at all these new like wintry bits in and look at these boots oh my goodness I always really wanted these military boots look these ones just here and they are like the high top version of my old trainers this bag i've wanted it for so long in the mini size i think it's absolutely beautiful and then these are like the sherlin boots but in the brown i much prefer them in the brown than i do in the black what do you guys think do you prefer black or brown and here's some other new season louis vuitton bags and here's the new season pochette matisse she came, she saw, and are you ready guys? She conquered. Can you believe it? I can't wait to tell you all the story. The staff in the Westfields Louis Vuitton, well actually they were really nice in the Sloan Street store as well, but obviously the staff I've been dealing with are in the Westfields one, are the nicest, some of the nicest um, sales assistants I've ever, ever dealt with. Honestly, the service has been incredible. And I'm gonna tell you all the story when we get in and have a little unboxing for you all. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, I think I'm gonna quickly go to M&S, get a few snacks for my house because I have no food in mine, and um, just head home. Just can't be asked to shop at all, and I actually feel so tired. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna head home. Just nipped into the toilets. Look how nice they are in here. So clean, so fresh, so clean. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a quick outfit of the day because I actually haven't shown you what I've got on. It's post as well in my way though. We've got on my Balenciaga denim jacket, which has been one of the best purchases of the summer because I've literally worn it to death and can't wait to wear it all again in the winter. Um, my Chanel bag, also one of my favorite purchases this summer. I've got, obviously got in here my bag, which has got another bag in it. Um, T-shirt, which is new look probably. And my trousers are Zara. And my trainers are my Chanel ones, which are so comfy, like literally the comfiest trainers. Do you know something I hate about where I live? The lift. It's always so dark and dingy in here. Oh my god, look what's at my front door. I did the biggest mango order and Zara. And it's all here. Well, as you saw, I'm home. I have so many parcels to open. Like, do you want to see my corridor? <laughs> like, there's H&M. 
Zara, Mango, a big box from New Look, a box of flowers, like, you know, I'm going to have a good day unboxing all of that. But I've decided I'm going to do a big Zara haul and then I'm going to do a Mango and H&M combined. So prepare for those two videos. Um, I also have a new Farfetch code coming as well. So yeah, I have lots to unbox for you all. Um, but that will be in different videos from this one because I do like proper haul videos, you know. I was just sat in my car in the car park downstairs after I drove back and thought I am going to fall asleep. Like I feel absolutely knackered and I've been out for all of like three hours, but that is the longest I have been out um, in two and a half weeks. So we'll let myself off. Oh. I feel like I could go to bed, but before I go to bed, I'm not actually going to go to bed. Maybe I'll have a little nap, um, but we have an unboxing to do. I know this is why most of you are here, is to hear the Louis Vuitton story outcome. So, guys, I know I spoke about it in my last video, but just in case you're new here or you kind of need your memory refreshing, the Louis Vuitton story is, I had a Palm Springs mini backpack. I've worn that bag and love that bag for the two and a half years since I've owned it. And it was very well looked after, like all of my designer pieces, I really, really look after them. Although the bag was worn a lot, it was treated with respect, you know. And I noticed a few weeks ago that the canvas around the zip area had got like a crack in it. Now a lot of Louis Vuitton bags with the monogram print aren't actually made out of real leather, it's this canvas material. So I noticed that it started to crack and I decided, you know what, I'm going to take it back to Louis Vuitton before it gets any worse hoping that maybe they'd repair it because, you know, I love that bag so much. And even though two and a half years of use seems like a long time when you're paying that kind of money, it's, I mean, you expect these things to last for years and years, right? So anyway, I took it back to the Sloan Street store and they couldn't really help me in there because I'd actually bought it from a Westfield store, which is deemed as a Louis Vuitton concession. So I had to go back to there. So I took my bag back to the shop. I didn't actually have the box. All I had was like the dust bag it came in and that was it. Oh, and I had the receipt as well. But actually they didn't even matter because everything was all on the system and it was pretty straightforward. Anyway, the staff in that store, in the Louis Vuitton store in Westfields, they were lovely in the Sloan Street store as well, but they obviously didn't help me properly. But in the Westfield store, the staff have been the nicest sales assistants I think I've ever dealt with. The names of them were Jess and Imad. I hope I'm saying both of their names right. But they were amazing at their job. Like the service was a 10 out of 10 and I just couldn't fault it. So they took a look at my bag and basically they said that yes, it's a fault. So they've actually seen that before um, and it's obviously a design fault with the bag and they were just really apologetic about it and I then thought well obviously they're going to send the bag off and they're going to get it repaired for me which is great but no that isn't what they were going to do what they said is because it is a fault with the bag they are going to give me a brand new one so after two and a half years I was going to get a brand new Palm Springs Mini because it's a fault on the bag I mean if that isn't good customer service I do not know what is I was really sad to see my old one go, but I couldn't take the new one away that day because this bag is actually still really quite hard to get hold of. You have to go and wait and list and things like that. So they had to order me one in. It actually did come quite quick, but obviously because I've not been very well, I haven't been able to go in and go and collect it. But today was the day I went in and collected my new Palm Springs Mini. So literally, I just can't even believe I'm getting a brand new bag. Like, what the hell? Jess, unfortunately, was on holiday today, but Imad um, served me, and as I say, like, the service was just... I just, I, I'm actually so happy about the service that I've had there because a lot of the time with these kind of high-end premium designers, the service isn't always that great. Um, and so to be treated, like, so nicely by a brand... It's just really great and it makes you feel like you've spent your money wisely, you know? So inside this box is my new, are we ready guys? Palm Springs, I have had a little look, um, he showed me in the shop. But it is the new Palm Springs Mini and I'm going to show you the difference between this one and my old one. Although I haven't actually got my old one, they took my old one off of me, like I said. It was a sad part. So here we go. Oh my god, I can't believe I have a new one. So there was a few little faults. There was a slight tarnish um, on the gold at the back and it also started to fray slightly, but obviously this is brand new, so it now looks brand new. So the difference between this bag and my old Palm Springs Mini is this area here. So obviously right now the zip is very much on show. 
the old version of the bag there was a lip that came out and it kind of concealed the zip which I do get design wise why they did it because it probably looked a lot prettier than this but the fault in it was when you unzip the bag the bag got caught on the lip and eventually over time it began to crack the canvas so they redesigned it and this one now doesn't have the lip and I ended up with a brand new bag like can you actually believe it imagine having something for two and a half years taking it back to the shop and then giving you a brand spanking new one when the cost of it was a lot of money like I genuinely thought they were going to send it off and just repair it but the fact they've given me a new one is just wild like I, I don't think I'll ever get over it to be honest <laughs> um, so inside is obviously the two straps so you can wear it either as a backpack or a crossbody. I was also expecting like a bit of a fight with the situation. Obviously not a physical fight because I'm not very good at fighting. <laughs> but I kind of thought I was going to have to argue the toss a bit and like ask for them. I kind of thought that they were going to send it away and make me pay for the repair. But it hasn't been that at all. Even though the bag has increased in price since I purchased it. I still didn't have to put any money towards it. I just took it home brand spanking new i'm sad as i say i had to say goodbye to my old one but a new one is pretty great really i would just also like to say for anyone that is in the market for this bag it's still the best bag in my opinion after all these years it's been on it's been around for years now and it's still as great today as the day that i bought it and also the day that it first ever came out which was a long time ago now but yeah what a great day it is to be alive. I doubt very much that Louis Vuitton will ever watch this video or they even know I exist. But if they ever do, they just need to be applauded with their amazing customer service. It's been unreal and every super brand should take a leaf out of their customer service book and follow suit with them because Louis Vuitton, your customer service is the best. There we have it. That's the Louis Vuitton story, guys. Anyway, even though I feel like all I want to do is go to bed right now, I might go and get my nails done because these nails are absolutely horrific. Like, they're, they're not okay. So I might see if my nail shop has got any... Sorry, someone just texted me. I might see if they've got any um, space for this afternoon because I feel like these nails need to get sorted out. So where are we going? We're going to nail base in fulham okay i've messaged for nails and hopefully i can get these fixed up and looking a little bit sharper than this <laughs> they look so awful also whilst we're here guys my hair look how dark it's gone my roots are so dark and there's like zero kind of blonde in it it's kind of gone like this i don't know what color it's gone but it looks a complete mess and i tried to get in with my hairdresser this week for next week and i can't get in so you know what a drama that is well since we last spoke i have just tried on let me show you how many clothes are in my apartment right now i said this in every single video but look at the state of everywhere this whole pile here is zara then over here we have got mango h&m um new look and we've just got a lot of clothes basically so hauls are well and truly pending let me know which haul you'd like first you could either have i feel like i'm gonna club them together i'm gonna do zara on its own and then i'm gonna do mango and h&m together so let me know which one you want to have first but i'm just about to go to the nail shop it's half six i um, i need to actually hurry up because my appointment's at seven um and i can't get the strap of my new bag open so like i've even like watched things on youtube to try and pull like these basically these, are these gold sort of poppers they're not poppers though they're like this on the strap cannot get them open for the life of me and i need to because i need to short oh my god i did it <laughs> oh my god i've been trying to do that for like the last 25 minutes oh no which way around do they go now oh no let me look at the other one. Um, and then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start filming because if there's anyone on the internet that's struggling to do this as well, maybe they can come to my video and see if I can help them. But see, what you do is you can then make your strap shorter, but it's come apart in two parts like this now. Very complicated. Anyway, let's put it back together. So I'm actually gonna use my bag now. I mean, she literally got born today, but she's being used today, so sod it. No time like the present. We don't wanna, don't wanna hang around. Oh no, I don't know how to make 
we know what the length of the strap's going to be like. Okay, I think this is like a good length for me personally. I don't like it being too high or too low. Maybe I should just do it one, one more down maybe. And actually it's kind of simple because all you do then is you just pop these gold bits back into the straps like this. Isn't it funny by the way? There's literally a video for everything on YouTube. Like there's even a video on how to unpop the, the um, straps on a Palm Springs Mini. Like, what the hell? Okay, we're good. Oh, look how cute she is. Anyway, I need to go because I'm gonna be late for the nail appointment. Here she is, guys. Sorry, this is the lobby of my apartments. But her first little trip out. Anyway, I need to go. I also bought a snack. I just got back from having my nails done. You can't really see them in this light because it's obviously dark now. But I just went for a classic French tip. French tip? French manicure? Manicure? <laughs> Why can't I speak? Um, you know what I mean. God, the lighting in my room right now is just not it. Um, they don't really look their best because they were so short. Oh my God, my neighbour just came out in his boxes. I wonder if he can see me. I always wonder if people can see you through these neck curtains. He is fully in his boxes and I'm staring. Oh my god, I think he can see me staring. That's so awkward. He could definitely see me looking. Oh god. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just got home. I had my nails done. And I've also just ordered my favourite on Deliveroo. With that we're in my bedroom. And about to eat this, but whatever. Um, and it is a tortilla bowl. So we've got salad. And it's a um, one that's vegan. Him and his boxes has really thrown me off. As you can tell. I can't think straight. Oh my god. Um... So yeah, I'm just going to sit down and eat this and have an early night pretty much. Well, hello guys. This is future me. I'm looking a little bit worse for wear because I've been filming all day long. Um, but I'm just about to upload this video and I realise I never actually finished it off. I feel like I always say that in my vlogs, but it's true. I always just forget to finish them. I did actually continue vlogging in this vlog but i've realized it's already too long so there's going to be a new vlog coming really soon which is a continuation of this one so hopefully see you in that as always thank you so much for watching and i hopefully will see you in my next video which by the way is a zara haul so hopefully i will see you there take care guys bye bye